Welcome colleagues, welcome Rutus, um, and uh, thanks for your votings in the, the last days on um, Roots on Facebook. Despite the bad condition of this tooth, um, the majority of you voted for saving this tooth or at least uh, get some more information with the help of a CBCT. So here comes the whole story. Um, let's remember. Um, it's uh, the first right, sec uh, first right lower premolar and the patient came in with pain and um, percussion. The, the, the tooth uh, responded positive on percussion and um, I saw we had a uh, sinus tract vestibular. Uh, the mobility was grade 2 with the tendency to grade 3, but the pocket depth were within um, normal limits. Honestly, I considered this tooth to be extracted. Um, the tooth was part of a telescopic uh, prosthesis um, and um, the patient wouldn't have missed uh, uh, this tooth uh, so badly. But um, um, the patient decided and insisted to save this tooth at any cost. So I decided to uh, make an emergency intervention at this tooth and then um, we will see what happens. Um, two things I discovered um, while the treatment. Um, first, um, the former colleague has had missed um, the originally canal course. So you can see um, medially there is a, a little bit uh, of uh, curvature and there is a little bit of aperture in this canal. And uh, both canals met in the apical third um, and I was not able to remove the good aperture from this uh, artificial canal. And we had a lingual uh, canal present uh, which I could um, um, detect with the help of the microscope. With copious irrigation with uh, sodium hypochlorite 5% and EDTA 70%, um, I um, irrigated as long as um, I saw that the drain was stopped. Uh, the lingual canal was prepared with pro this, uh, profile until 3506 and uh, the buccal canal was prepared with um, uh, pro taper until F3. Um, there was an apical resorption and uh, so I saw in the microscope that there was a very wide, op uh, a very wide open uh, apex, uh, so we had a neo-apex uh, at the end. Uh, the buccal master cone, as you can see on the picture, was res respectively um, thick um, in diameter. So, um, I placed calcium hydroxide, what you can see here, as a temporary medication. Um, and you can see I overpressed it. Certainly this is not the best practice, uh, but on the other hand it um, does not harm at all. At this time I was anyway um, convinced that at the next appointment I will have to extract this tooth. But see what happened. Surprisingly, at the next time, um, after, ten uh, after 10 days, um, the patient had no pain and the sinus tract was gone. Um, the tooth had now a mobility about grade 2 with tendency to grade 1. The patient still insisted in uh, saving this tooth at any cost and I, we decided to give it a try. After a final copious irrigation, MTA, um, uh, a MTA plug was um, placed at the end of the buccal canal um, because it had this wide open apex. Then gutta packer was placed with warm vertical condensation in the lingual canal and I squirted uh, in the squirting technique in the buccal canal after the MTA was set. The excess cavity was then filled with a uh, dentine adhesive uh, filling material. After three months, um, the situation was still good. The mobility was almost gone and the patient had not any problem with the, this tooth. And you can see the picture here. Um, this was in April 2010. 
After 10 months, in October 2010, the mobility was grade zero. And on the X-ray, you can see some signs of healing, what you can see here. In December 2010, almost 11 months um, after the first treatment, we decided to place a fiber post in the buccal canal and um, make a new telescopic crown. So the tooth um, can be again part of uh, the existing telescopic prosthesis. In September 2011, uh, the tooth is still solid as a rock and had not any problems. In September 2012, the situation is almost the same. The patient had not any problems, the tooth is uh, still solid and so uh, it looks uh, very, very well. And this is the situation uh, in September uh, 2013, this year. Uh, I'm still not sure um, why Epical, uh, it seems like Gutta Percha was overpressed. It might be MTA. So this is certainly an exceptional case uh, with a lot of luck and um, a good host response uh, from the patient. I hope that this tooth will stay uh, in function uh, the next years at the five-year recall and uh, at the ten-year recall. I hope it for the patient. Um, he comes um, uh, to our practice um, very often and I will see him and I will recall him in the next future. So thank you for your attention and thank you that you voted um, on Roots on Facebook and I see you next time. Bye bye.